Okay, now that we have Darkstorm already installed, you'll notice that it looks exactly like Firestorm. And that's because it pretty much is a modified version of Firestorm. Um, when you go to use it, the viewer will give off the same information as a legit Firestorm. So that's always a plus when using copy by viewers. You want to make sure that your viewer broadcast is legit and it makes everything a lot better. Um, I like to use it in hybrid mode. That's a combination of uh, Phoenix and Firestorm because I'm used to using Singularity. So coming from Viewer 1 style up into sing Firestorm style is kind of a culture shock to me. So I like to use the hybrid one um, right here. You can now let's use the Firestorm one if you're more comfortable using direct Firestorm. I'm still not 100% so fire hybrids for me. Um, I found that using Phoenix and Viewer 3 style causes us to crash more often than not. So I wouldn't recommend you select those modes. I would say stick with either Firestorm or Hybrid if you're like me coming from Viewer 1 style copied by viewers and all the rest of that jazz. So I'm going to leave it at Hybrid and we're going to move on to our other pre, what's it called, um, pre-login measures we have to take. Uh, as I said before, security is kind of a top thing when you're using a copy by viewer. You don't want to go to a place and they boot you out because of the security orbs. It's like, hey, you. Um, basically, what the security orbs do is they look and see what version of Firestorm you're running. Because before, um, copy by viewers would broadcast, this is, I'm using Darkstorm, I'm using this. Remember, like back in the day, um, they used to say what viewer you were in your tag. But once they took that out, um, security orbs look at what version of the Firestorm or something that you're using. Um, if you're using a version of Firestorm that's been blocked, then they know that that's a copy by viewer and then you get the boot. So you want to make sure that your copy by viewer is always spoofed on the latest settings. And I'm going to show you how to spoof this before you sign in. So you'll go down to the bottom here and you'll see login spoof and you're just going to click this and it'll give you this login spoof in menu you're going to click the recycle button here and shuffle and make a fake mac id uh, fake id zero id and then you're going to look at this bottom menu right here where it says major minor patch the build and you would look at this so this is the client information Firestorm always tells you what the latest version is of it and it will notice you and tell you that we've released a new patch or something and it will give it to you and it will say the current version is for this example 4.7.5 and then it's in parentheses a bunch of numbers right here. You will input that over here where it says major there will be 4, minor there will be the 7 patch that'd be this five right here and everything that's inside of the parentheses is the build so you would just input all of that and leave everything else the same and then you press ok and that will spoof your viewer or fake your viewer to say that it's on the latest version of firestorm even if it's you know one that was released 10 versions ago um, another pre sign in thing we'll have to do is go up and clear our cache now I'm sure you already know how to clean out your cache, but fire, fire, Darkstorm requires you to do a hard reset of your cache. It secures, not really secures, but it gives you a higher percentage that your extraction will come out right um, than not. So you would just press preferences up here, go into preferences, scroll down to network and cache, and then you would push clear your cache and say okay. But you would have to do a hard clear. That's just a soft one and it doesn't really work. So you would go to open and delete everything. Just select everything and then hit delete. Wait for it to go. And then when you get the error, because it will always error, click the do this for all current items and then skip. And then we will go back into Darkstorm and hit apply then okay fire some refresh and then we just close it and then we sign in so i'll see you in the next video and we'll go into how to do stuff